Hi there folks, welcome back to another video. And today's video is going to be a little different. I'm calling it Butterflies and Security Cameras. And um, first of all, let's look at the issue of security cameras. A little bit of history. A buddy of mine from Northern Ireland showed me the great setup he has at his Airbnb. And I was like, wow, you can talk to people through your smartphone that are standing on your doorstep? How cool is that? As a matter of fact, we watched this mailman delivering mail. And the mailman was snarling and cursing because he couldn't get the piece of mail in the box. And I was like, wow, that's amazing. You can hear all that. So I was thinking, hmm, for security around my little cabin, I'd like something like that. So this was amazing. I literally was shopping for security cameras when out of the blue, a company called Reallink emailed me and said, hey, we watch your videos and would you like to check out one of our cameras? I mean, you can't make this stuff up. <laughs> but so I'm like, sure. I got this Reallink uh, security camera and it's the Argus PT model. So I'm going to take it out of the box and uh, have a look at it. I've already uh, um, unpackaged it a bit, taken some things out of plastic. But uh, let's take a look. So we got a uh, an envelope that contains uh, some instructions. Looks like we've got um, a quick start guide and then the solar panel instructions. I've already looked at them, which is good. I really like this. 24 hour video surveillance sticker I can put somewhere. Then we got the solar panel itself. Looks pretty adequate. And then uh, <clears throat> a mount for the solar panel. A support bracket to um, mount the camera to. And then here it is, the camera itself. Looks like a pretty serious item. And then that's a connector to um, mount the camera onto this support bracket. And then of course we've got an antenna, which is important. So the next thing I did is I downloaded the Reolink app on my smartphone. And then I used my phone to scan this QR code. And that got things started. Once I was in the Reolink app, it offered a large QR code where I had to take the Reolink camera, point its lens at my smartphone and this code, and that somehow activated the camera. Now it's time to put up the bracket for the camera where I want it. One important thing is that you can't have the camera up too high for the motion detector to work properly. At about nine feet, this works great. So I'm just using a pen to mark where the screw should go. And because the siding on my building is so tough and hard, which is a good thing, I'm pre-drilling holes for the one and a half inch screws. My impact driver makes it super easy. So I'm just uh, doing this finger tight. Don't want to damage it in any way. So that's going to connect to the bracket I already uh, put up on the on the uh, wall. So we'll now I'll take the antenna here and that on carefully and I'm just hand tightening it there and then I'll turn the antenna up that should work best I think there we go and now it's ready to put up As with the bracket for the camera, I marked for the solar panel support location. Next, drill for the screws and get ready for the panel. So it comes with this cool little solar panel. 
So I'll attach that now. And I'm just going to have that support straight up and down so I can just kind of aim for it like that. And then just turn it till it feels snug. There we go, that feels snug. And then I'll finish tightening it down with this nut here. Make sure it's good and sturdy. So I'll put it up there and then uh, use about a 30 degree angle pointing to the south, which is uh, my area here in Cochise County, Arizona. I'm sure there was uh, easier ways to put that on, but anyway, it's up there, it's good and strong. So there's quite a bit of cable, which is great. Um, that's super, especially if your little solar panel is a long ways from the camera. Mine's only about five feet away, so I don't need all this. So I'm gonna use this little Velcro tie-up that, um, that I have here and uh, tie up the excess. And there's a little waterproof rubber cover. We'll make sure that's in place. So now our solar panel is connected. And so here's the power. And so I'm just gonna switch that on. There we go, that's on now. Put that back in place. Put the camera's antenna back up. Now I gotta position the camera where I want it. Well, let's give it a go. The other thing I really, really liked about the Reolink uh, camera system is on my smartphone, uh, it's so easy to operate. Even though I can literally just take my index finger and change the camera direction by touching the screen on my smartphone, I'm going to focus on the front step. Hey, I'm looking for someone who can take me bird watching. And the other thing that I uh, find absolutely super is I can change the angle of the camera to see what kind of wildlife is coming to my pond as well. How cool is that? I love this security system. I can be on the road or out birding somewhere and I can easily check up on what's going on in my yard, on my doorstep, in the surrounding area, just by looking at my smartphone. So really, really appreciate that. And I want to say thanks so much for Reolink uh, for reaching out to me and allowing me to try out the camera. On this crazy windy February day, it makes me kind of nostalgic for monsoons. Whoa, almost lost the camera. Monsoons and butterflies. Hey, check out the fun help I'm getting with the dishes here. I've got Beautiful helpers from nature. Where'd they go? Here they come. Just call me the Butterfly Whisperer. This year in Arizona here in Cochise County, butterflies have been all over the place. Lots of different species. A lot that I don't know what they are, but uh, just really enhance the yard, that's for sure. And who, and who are you? <laughs> Wasn't there an old song in the 60s, Butterflies Are Free?
So if you're a butterfly whisperer, what do you whisper to them? I'm really glad that you're not a caterpillar anymore. I'm not sure what you would whisper to a butterfly. Oh, not just a butterfly. Good morning, hummingbird. How are you? Want a fresh sip, dear? Had a girl. This black chinned. Just as pretty as you can be. Well, maybe I better put these hummingbird feeders up so the hummers can enjoy them. So as always folks, thanks so much for watching my videos. If you found this one helpful or informative, give it a thumbs up. And also if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Click the notification bell thing. That'll let you know when the next video is posted. And I so appreciate you being here. Thanks so much. See you on the next video.